I know you have been trying to conceive for some time now, but you know what? These can get worse if there are certain simple things that you misconceive about this condition, you know, of infertility. So in this video, we will be debunking some of the myths, you know, common myths that people carry about infertility. I am pharmacist Peter Edward, and welcome to my channel, Ask Farm Edward. Myth number one. Infertility is due to the woman alone. That is not true. As a matter of fact, 30% of the time, infertility is due to the woman. Just 30% of the time. Another 30% of the time, it is due to the man. And then another 30% of the time, infertility is due to combined factors. That is, issues that have to do with both the man and the woman. That's 90%. And then 10% of the time, infertility is due to causes that are not known. Yes. You know, causes that, you know, your doctor or anybody handling your case cannot really lay hands on. Myth number two. I have had my first baby and I didn't have any issue. Why is it now? You know, this second baby, I'm having issues. I've never had issues of conceiving before. That is a myth. That is the truth because that is actually called secondary infertility. A situation where you have given birth before and then it is now becoming difficult for you to conceive the second time. It's actually a medical condition called secondary infertility. And of course, you know, as you age, perhaps you give birth to your first child at maybe 28 years and then four years later at 32 you want to give uh, birth to another child. At that time, ovarian reserves, I mean the number of eggs in your ovaries and the quality of the eggs decreases with age. It would be cool for you to assume that, you know, when you are 32 or 35, you should have the same you know, um, uh, amount of or likelihood to conceive as when you were 28. So that is actually a myth. Don't believe that uh, perhaps you didn't have any issues conceiving your first child and so you shouldn't, you're not infertile. The truth is, as you grow older, the likelihood for you to become fertile will decrease. So that could just be your situation. And don't believe that it's uh, maybe, you know, it's a myth. That's the truth. Myth number three, nobody in my family has this issue of difficulty to conceive why is it me alone that is actually a myth because apart from genetics there are a lot of other factors that can be responsible for your inability to become pregnant other than genetics that's the truth so you look alike you look like your your siblings and nobody in your family is actually having difficulty conceiving different people have different medical histories different people had have, have different you know nurture you know lifestyle that predispose them to certain illnesses so it's not always about you know the nature i mean the genetic makeup of of, of of you you and other members of your family so that is actually a myth when you believe that you shouldn't become you know infertile or you shouldn't have difficulties conceiving simply because you know other members of your family are conceiving that is a myth and then myth number four is the fact that you know a lot of women say um uh, after intercourse i get up and notice sperm flowing out of my vagina that is you know a myth because it actually takes split second for these seminal cells to pass through you know your cervix into the uterus and the sperm is bulked up what you actually need to effect fertilization is just a single a sperm cell and that single sperm cell is not even visible to the eyes so when you say uh, you see all the sperm cells that is not the sperm is made up of a lot of other things you know prostrate fluid and a lot of other things that box up you know the sperm what you see might just be the bulk of the sperm the cells had actually you know gone through the cervix and are on their way to the fallopian tubes to fertilize the egg so that is actually a myth when you see sperm cells coming out after intercourse and you, you i mean after intercourse and you stand up that does not mean that sperm cells your husband's sperm cells are watery and that perhaps no sperm cell has found its way into the uterus so that is the myth i hope you have learned a lot from, from this video and i hope to see you in the next one